Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got a couple things we got to talk about as it relates to recruits responding to USC's big win over LSU. Listen, it was a great response. You guys already know we've been talking about this. Um, also, I want to address a couple of other things as it relates to Miller Moss. Let me just go ahead and put that up real quick. Miller Moss was able to um be named the big 10 player of the week big shout out big salute to miller moss listen he has earned it it's straight up go time with miller moss he's doing some phenomenal things playing within the system and real quick let me respond there was somebody that hit me up yesterday in my comment section as it relates to miller moss and i'm gonna I'm read you guys this and one of the things that i think can be lost <coughs> excuse me people interpret things the way they want to interpret it um this is a response. His name is ND7632. Let me respond to you real quick. He says, Miller Moss is not even close to Caleb. Let's be real. The game plan this year on offense and defense has definitely changed. Lincoln Riley tried to win Caleb A. Heisman and threw it too much. Woody Marks was a great addition, and our, our S and C coach needs, to, needs a bonus. Our team will go as far as our O line and D line. Hold on for a second. Let me <coughs> let me clarify. I, I don't know how you get mixed up and said that Miller Moss. I think Miller Moss is close to Caleb Williams. No, I did not say that. Now, what I did say, if you notice, and we noticed it yesterday too, and this is a stat that came out uh, for PFL, which said that Miller Moss compared to Caleb Williams held the ball for two point five seconds. That is an actual stat. Go look it up compared to Caleb Williams from last year for 3.5 seconds. Now, that kind of coincides with what I was talking about um, after the Holiday Bowl, which I said that Miller Moss, um, he executes this offense just as good as Caleb. And I, the main reason I said he does is because his he doesn't have the athletic ability to rely on like a Caleb Williams. So he can't he doesn't change the play. He doesn't run a whole lot like Caleb Williams which I felt like causes more stress on a offensive lineman, which would make the offensive lineman appear to be um, appear to be um, worse than what they are. Whereas we see, even in the game against LSU, Miller Moss, when you're talking about 2.5 seconds, he did it with he did it he did it with Louisville, and he did it with uh, with uh, LSU. Same type of performance. So you guys can hit me in the comment section. You guys can tell me what you think about that. But Miller Moss is not saying that he's better than Caleb Williams. They're two different style quarterbacks. Um, but, however, I do believe that Miller Moss relies on the system more than Caleb Williams. And as a result, he gets the ball out faster and gets rid of it because he can't get away from other guys. So hit me in the comments. You guys can tell me what you think on that. Now, moving on to um, the teams that this week that was able to uh, – only have a, a a big time win on their team, a, a win against a ranked team. Um, USC is in, involved with that. Uh, USC, Georgia Tech, Georgia, and Notre Dame are the only teams that have ranked wins. Of course, you guys know USC beat the number 13 team, LSU, and I'm curious to see how they will be ranked. Um, it, at the time I'm recording this, you guys know I recorded the night before the rankings are not out, so we'll see how that comes out. Uh, the actual rankings, but RJ, RJ, uh, whatever, I forget his name. Um, RJ, he's over Fox. He does Fox uh, commentary, but he has us at number seven. We'll see how the actual ranking comes out um, today. It's expected to come out after the Florida State game, so we'll see how that happens. What happens with that? Now, when you're talking about recruits on the road. Um, at USC, there were some phenomenal responses as it relates to the recruiting. Um, USC, I told you guys that this guy right here, and I'm going to have to mute this, make sure I mute his. Uh, this guy right here, Joaquin Stewart, he was actually, um, I, I told you that Joaquin Stewart's recruitment, I believe, is going to really depend on where we fall at as, as it relates to this game. I believe that if we won this game, I told you that Joaquin Stewart I believe that he's going to sway in our direction. He's already loving dog work, and you saw what he did. He's put up several posts since that game and made reference to dog work. And crazy, not only enough, Aaron Donald put a picture up with a USC shirt on. I put it all on my Twitter. Those who follow me on my Twitter 
and I put it up on there. And hey, Joaquin Stewart kind of retweeted his own dog work thing as well with Aaron Donald. So I think that this is really going to move and groove toward a commitment coming from Joaquin Stewart. I'm not putting a crystal ball, but I feel like, look, it is straight up go time. I think really we, we sealed the deal, I believe. I believe we sealed the deal based on that win. Let's see what happens for the rest. He's supposed to have two announcements coming up this week. One of them, I believe, is going to be a reclassification. The other one, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a commitment. Who knows? We don't know. Uh, so let's see what happens with Joaquin Stewart. But that is some great news when you're talking about on the recruiting trail with a guy like Joaquin Stewart, man. So you guys who dropped those comments, you guys can tell me what you think. There were other recruits there as well. Um, I think the linebacker play, how Gentry played, Mason Cobb, Ethan Masarenas, um, Madden Faramo, who's out of the state of California, Southern California kid. I think that he is going to absolutely – uh, moving groove in our direction too and look for all those guys all those recruits that passed up on usc you guys already know um you know it it, it, it hurt man especially the southern california kids and i'm not gonna get into the names but you gotta wonder how they feeling right now because they see a, a product on the field that's absolutely moving and grooving you see a real deal you see some real coaching it's better coaching in oregon it's better coaching in texas a and m it's better coaching than a lot of these teams right now. And it's straight up go time. And you got to know that, look, some of these guys are going to probably flip. You guys know I talked about Justice Terry as well, um, uh, uh, Elijah Griffin. Those two guys are on the radar. And I told you that USC, I told you that USC's back in the play for Justice Terry. Talked about that, right? And Elijah Griffin put us in his top three. So, look, right now, USC, and a lot of us talked about um, – winning if we win we put the right product on the field this is going to sway a lot of guys in the right direction so that is huge for this usc football trojan team man so look you guys can hit me in the comments as it relates to that and there's one more that i got for you it is going to be this guy one of my favorite players hands down he's crystal ball to usc um you know his brother walker lions is already with us right now uh Ryder lions one of the best players i believe in the 2026 class you guys know that he's already um, – he's probably going to have to take a mission trip, but Walker Lyons is that guy. He's mobile, he's fast, he's quick, and I think it's straight-up go time. Immediately following the game from LSU, Walker, Walker Lyons was crystal ball to USC. So, look, man, I think – and this is what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to be a lot of guys that's going to, like, start making their uh, commitments, start getting their crystal balls in because the way USC is moving right now, it's not going to be a lot of room. It's not going to be a lot of room for anybody just to kind of be, you know, playing Patty K, Patty K Baker's man, like a lot of other kids did, man. But Walker Lyons, I believe that he's a player that absolutely loves USC and it's straight up go time with him anyway. Um, but you looked at what Miller Moss did. Why wouldn't you want to be a quarterback at USC? Look, Lincoln Riley's done it with athletic quarterbacks. He's done it with kind of medium athletic quarterbacks. And, he, you know, you could kind of see, look, it's not just about having the most athletic quarterback. He's done it with Caleb. Now he's doing it with Miller Moss. Why not be a quarterback with the at the University of Southern California? Hit me in the comments. You guys let me know what you think. It's USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. I'm out of here. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.